All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's Down and Dirty is kind of the basics of an off-road truck. It's been a while since I've been in a situation where I could actually run one of these, so I'm finally getting around to making a video. Uh, we're in a Terex 40-ton truck right now. I think the model number is a TA400, and most rock trucks are going to have the same controls, but, you know, you guys are familiar with the industry. Everybody's got their own little spin on it. Um, so just real quick, all of your rock trucks are generally over in this area going to have your driving stuff. So parking brake on this one is right here. I believe on the cat, you've got a switch somewhere over here. Uh, Volvo's very similar. Uh, you have your gear selector here. Everyone's got their own little variation, but it's all pretty straightforward. So um, there's your gear selector. And then this is your dump controls here. 10-4. So parking brake, transmission, gear selector, and then your dump controls. Dump controls are very straightforward. You pull this back, your box is gonna go up. If you push it forward, uh, it will let the box down. Over here, we've got a uh, transmission brake, and this basically is a step down system. So instead of it being one of those that you kind of pull to apply, you basically select what level of retardation you want. That's very offensive sounding, but that's what it's called, guys. Uh, and, and that's essentially what you're doing there. Uh, you've got a differential lock here. Uh, I believe this, if I remember right, again, this is everyone's got their own spin. I wanna say this is your transmission brake uh, engage, and then this is your engine brake engage. Uh, I'm not sure about this guy over here. I haven't pulled the manual out yet, so I'm not sure. This is gonna be for selecting your menu items uh, here on the screen. And then this particular one to start, you've got a key and then a push start, push stop. Uh, down on the floor, nothing fancy. You have a gas pedal, you have a brake pedal. There's one other little thing, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to make it out on the camera or not. You'll see there's a little hole right here on that pedal. And there's nothing in this one in this truck. That would be your six way differential lock. So if you were in some really muddy conditions and you needed to lock all six wheels so they're all turning at the same time, that's where you would have a little foot pedal. It's literally a little kind of dot that sticks up and you push down on that and that locks it in. So that's, that's essentially the controls on a rock truck. The other thing I'll tell you, if you've never been in one of these, uh, everyone thinks visibility is great until you get into the industry. This is the visibility you get. You can see, we can see along our side rails when we're lined up here. But if you're in the middle of a turn, you're not gonna see crap. Uh, this unit is equipped with a backup camera, but as you can see, not the greatest picture in the world. So um, a lot of people just getting into the industry don't realize this is one of the first pieces of equipment you're gonna find yourself in, rock is a rock truck. A lot of people new to the industry don't realize how much operating is getting a feel for the machine and then operating in the blind. You spend a lot of time on these machines operating in the blind where you can't actually see what you're doing. Um, and it just, that's where the skilled trades part of this comes in. It is a skilled trade, it's something that you learn. So I will say when you're getting into a rock truck, it is very intimidating. The other thing is these rock trucks articulate in the middle, they do not drive like a car. And so it's very easy to get really discouraged in the beginning and feel like you're a failure and you can't do it. And I will say stick with it. Uh, I've been coaching Isaac out here. Isaac has never been in a piece of equipment. He is about six hours in and he's just now starting to kind of get how the truck moves. It just takes time to understand how the truck moves, especially when you've got a weird articulating point in the middle of the, of the machine. So don't get discouraged, stick with it. Uh, I am gonna do a video, a series of videos just on rock trucks here that I'll record through the day. Um, the challenge is gonna be actually capturing the angles to kind of show you guys what I'm talking about in these videos. Um, so yeah, we'll figure out how we're gonna do that. But that's all for this one. Just wanted to give you a quick cab tour, give you an idea of what to expect if you get into a rock truck. As always, feel free to drop any questions or comments down below and we'll catch you guys on the next Down and Dirty.